Hi, welcome Cancer Rose Burnett here Mind Body Soul Balance this is your July 2021 singles and you love reading and it is a general reading so it's trust yourself what resonates leave what does not big welcome to those of you that are new to my channel awesome to have you here and for those that regularly follow me you're rocking awesome there is a competition giveaway this month so to go into the draw all you need to do is subscribe to my channel or opt in to the extended versions of my readings you'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Kunyan Oracle by Alana Fairchild. I'll be drawing someone randomly. And those that follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You go into the draw to win the Messenger Oracle. Beautiful deck. And winners will be announced at the end of the month. The June uh, winners have been announced, so please go and check out the announcement. I will run the names across the bottom. I'm still waiting for the winners to get in touch with me. So if it's you, um, please uh, get in touch via email. All the details are on the announcement. And if you feel like you need extra support and guidance, reach out for a personal reading. There's uh, $10 off this month. I'll pop a coupon code up here. Info down below if you feel like you need a personal reading, reach out. And to get hold of the extended versions of my readings, super simple. Just hit the join button on my channel or very first link in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. Lots of stuff you won't see on YouTube. So if you're on Instagram, come and say hi. All right, Cancer, let's get started. So how this works, singles on this side. Those of you in a new love connection, we're going to dive deep into both of them. And let's get started. So first up, we're going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Lover's Oracle and looking at singles. Okay, that one super wants to come out. Um dare I say she's very reflective very much represents an angel it says acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control so letting go of anything that's not working living in the present moment releasing and accepting anything that hasn't worked out all right let's have a look at new love This one's to come out so beautiful. It's all about embrace. It says through each other you find the missing pieces. Oh, that's so beautiful. So what does that mean? Well, their strengths could be your weaknesses, their weaknesses, your strengths. Um, meld together very beautifully. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle. First up for singles. Oh, you've got new love coming in. Yeah, somebody new has stirred up your romantic feelings. You may have just met them or we'll be chatting to them at the moment. And Spirit's saying to keep an open mind because they may be quite different to who you usually date. Yeah, different age, different background, cultural background, possibly different interests. Uh, you've also got children are a factor in your love life. Yeah, so can be your children, can be your partner's children. Someone may want children, not want children. Oh, and you've also got the message to free yourself. Yeah, time to take back control of your life. I'm going to suggest you free yourself from the past. Clean, open slate, Cancer. All right, let's have a look at uh, new love over here. For those of you that have met someone new, oh, you get the message that you're in a past life relationship. You've known each other before. So it certainly speaks to a karmic soulmate oh you've got this situation involves marriage so it can absolutely be a keeper yeah heading to the altar and you've got some forgiving and learning to do yeah just to release and heal from the past even though you're in a new connection you've also got finances and career a factor in your love life right now some, so some external factors happening there. All right, let's pull some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. First up for singles. Mm, you got a message to ask for help from others, particularly if it's related to children. It can also be in terms of attracting new love as putting those vibrations out to the universe. Draw that soulmate to you. Um, and Spirit's saying you're going to have success if you keep an open mind about new people that you're meeting. Freeing yourself from the past. All right, let's have a look at new love here. Oh, you've got an opportunity coming in. 
So if you're worried about your finances and career, Spirit's saying there is more abundance coming your way in terms of new career opportunity. Mm. And you've also got the message to choose a new direction. Okay, why do they need to choose a new direction? Okay, Spirit's saying it's up to you. So this very new love connection, right? Um, Spirit's saying it's up to you whether or not you feel that it's right for you. It could certainly just relate to opening up to new beginnings in your life. All right, let's put you some guidance. First up, singles. We're going to dive a bit deeper. Cancer. Oh, coming to life after a period of hibernation. So some of you taking some time out from the dating scene, which is a very healthy thing to do. And Spirit saying it's time to take that body to the gym, get ready for new love. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, getting into shape. Buffing up, my loves, buffing up. <laughs> Whatever exercise turns you on. All right, let's have a look at new love over here. Oh, I'm thinking of you right now. We'll call you soon. That could be you. That could be them. And a magnetic attraction. My fire burns for you. Oh, that's looking very good. All right, let's get to the heart of the matter. First up for singles. I'd rather be alone than have my feelings hurt. Oh, darlings. So it can mean you're feeling very emotionally vulnerable when it comes to new connections, putting yourself out there. Any other guidance? Um, oh, ghosting was easier than explaining. It's my go-to tactic. So some of you may feel that you're emotionally unwilling, unable to even... Um, tell people when they're not right for you or just to face the music in that aspect in terms of being very honest with other people, you just ghost, yeah, which means that there's some emotional healing that needs to happen there around that. Uh, let's have a look at new love here. Um, oh, interesting. Closed door was a blessing. This person is not right for you. Any other guidance there? And don't forget you've got on this side, choose a new direction. Oh, traveling through, charmer, but will disappear soon. So there's certainly chemistry firing off here. Um, spirit's giving you a bit of a big message, dare I say, that this person is not going to be here for the long term. Mm -hmm. um, let me pull you one more, guy. Spirit's saying pull one more here. Oh, I, try, I chase and try and control when communication slows down. So if that's your energy, you may be feeling a bit insecure about this person here. All right, let's pull some guidance from the, uh, in terms of relationship influences. First up for singles. Oh, you've got a third party here. So you may have been through a situation where, where there was third party before. Spirit's saying you need to release that energy. And there's a focus on your health and well-being right now. I mean, you've got the message just to exercise very much, look after your health and well-being. Let's have a look at new love here. Oh, Spirit's saying there's something better, my darlings. Oh, that's your third or fourth message there. So there might be chemistry and attraction firing off big time, but oh, darlings, and deception. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it started off well, my loves. <laughs> oh, always up to you, but massive warning from spirit. Okay. Let's have a look at love attributes, which is can be your love language, what's important to you in a connection, what's important to the other person. Oh, you're a bit unpredictable. So dare I say your feelings in terms of feeling emotionally vulnerable, you might do a push-pull thing and disappear and ghost people at the moment. And you love your freedom. Yeah, it's super important to you. All right, let's have a look at those of you connecting with this new love over here. Um, they need to hear. So their love language is that it's verbal, right? So they need to hear that they're loved. 
and they're very ambitious mm -hmm. so big focus on their career all right let's pull you some guidance from your soulmate messages firstly for singles it says love generates love you will soon receive positive confirmation of this in the next few days keep on loving and you will keep on receiving ever greater blessings in return so i mean you've got new love here so you can certainly have somebody new crossing your path let's have a look at this situation over here with new love oh it says stop taking life so seriously achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul journeys back home to the light from which everything stems i've got to say to you that could be their energy if they're very ambitious and put everything else before love connections uh, it could be you i'm going to pull you one more there it says you are loved more than you consciously know share your insecurities with the one you love you'll be surprised and reassured by their reaction love is all around you so if any of these energies resonate with you or it's not come into your awareness yet, have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations, yeah. Just be really upfront and honest. Mm -hmm. See where you stand with this person. All right, let's put some guidance from the Whispers of Love Oracle. First up for singles. I have to say there's been some surprising twists and turns in your reading. Oh, you've got physical touch, yeah. It's all about a... Uh, a tender touch can mean so much. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so expressing attraction to somebody, it can even just be touching their hand, touching their arm. Mm -hmm. Let note someone know you're interested in them. Let's have a look at new love here. Which should be super interesting, dare I say. Oh, you've got love makes all the difference. Yeah, it's very much that love helps heal past um, hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Uh, there's quite a bit here, Cancer, in your reading about letting go of the past, healing from the past still, yeah. All right, my loves, those are your messages. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, reach out if you want a personal reading and tune to your specific energy. Take it easy and for now, much love, much light. Namaste.